Bill Crane here, and today I'm going to share with you a very simple and easy way to output your images with very high resolution 600 DPI format using PhotoDraw from Windows 2000. Yeah, it's an old program, but it works amazing. It's so much easier than Photoshop, and anyone can learn it in just a few easy steps. So I love it, and I use it every single day. Today I'm going to use a copy of my book to show you how to generate that high-res image. My book, Generating Clients for Life, it is available on Amazon.com for $39.95, but it's not about selling books for me. It's about empowering people just like you, with families and businesses just like yours, to be able to generate quality leads and convert them into happy, paying customers who come back over and over and over again. Now, if you do buy the book on Amazon, I generate, I generate, I donate all of the proceeds to uh, make a wish foundation because it's an absolutely amazing uh, charity and that's my charity of choice. Uh, but if you don't want to buy it, simply send my executive assistant an email asking for a copy of the book absolutely for free. Send it to bill at billcrane.com. Now, don't send anything interesting there because it doesn't come directly to me. It goes to my executive assistant who monitors all of my emails. And all you have to do is request a free copy, bill at billcrane.com, and she will make sure that you get one right away. Uh, so let's get right into it. All you have to do, go up to the top left, click on File, and then Save As, and in this case, I'm just going to save it to the desktop. You might save it to Documents or wherever you want to save it. I'm going to save it to the desktop because it's just a demonstration. The second move is where it says down at the bottom, Save As Type. You want to select JPEG because your printer should be able to use it and if not, convert it to whatever file type they need for their system. And if they can't convert it for you, get a different printer because that's ridiculous. I love gotprint.com. I've been using them for years and have never had a problem. So if you need a new printer, go to gotprint.com and, and they can print your business cards, banners, books, postcards, brochures, banners, whatever you need, they can print it for you without any problem. So then you want to click on Options, which is right next to Save. And once you get there, there's three big things you want to check. You want to make sure you're saving it in true color and not grayscale. You want to have the compression type is JPEG, which should be defaulted. And the compression level, you notice it defaults at 8. Now this is a slider bar. It goes from left to right. The, the higher that number at 100, the worse your image because it's going to be compressed more, which is going to be less image quality more data loss. So you want to move it all the way to the left, select the one there, and you'll have the best possible image. Uh, the export size at this particular moment doesn't matter. So we're going to click on custom size. You'll notice that it defaults at 96 DPI, which is nowhere near enough resolution to get a high quality image produced. How do we change it? We simply go up here to maintain the DPI click on the drop down and go to print size. Once print size is selected, you'll notice we can't change the print size any longer, but we can change the DPI. So all we have to do is highlight that 96 and manually change it to 600. Hit the tab key. Now you're going to notice that completely pushed the pixels up. And this is going to create an error within PhotoDraw but PhotoDraw is a, a quirky system and you may have to save it two or three times to get it to output properly. But just follow the steps that I'm showing you and you should not have any problem. So now we're going to go ahead and click on OK. We're going to click on OK again. And now we're going to click on Save. Now you'll notice it says this is the error that I was telling you about unable to save the file because the maximum file size in PhotoDraw is 3968 pixels. So here's the solution. It's easy. Click OK. Now go back to Options. Nope. Before we do that, we want to save file type. 
Make sure we have JPEG selected once again, and then go to Options, and then go to Custom Size. No, not Custom Size. Go to Export Size. And you'll notice that this time, the system automatically put 3968 in there. So go ahead and click on that one, and now click OK, and then click Save. Now it's going to save to the desktop. So how do we know for sure that we have a 600 DPI image? Well, it's really quite simple. All we have to do is click on the file that's saved right on the desktop, 600 DPI. So I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to scroll all the way down until we get properties. And once the properties details, uh, properties tab comes up or window, click on the, click on the details tab and scroll down and it should say 600 DPI and it does say 600 DPI. So we're done, we don't have to save it again. If it wasn't 600 DPI, just go through the process again. Sometimes it might say 300 or whatever, something lower. I don't know, it's just really quirky. Sometimes you have to do it two or three times to get it to save it the proper way. But in this case, we got lucky, we only had to do it twice and it's what we wanted. So that should enable you and empower you to save those images at a high resolution so that you can produce amazing artwork, business cards, postcards, flyers, banners, brochures, and books that look fabulous. If you need anything from me in a copy of my book, simply email my executive assistant, once again, bill at billcrane.com. Looking forward to helping you generate hot, quality, ready-to-act leads without an advertising budget and convert those into customers and clients that come back over and over and over again. Signing off now, I'm hoping that you found this helpful. Talk to you soon. Bye now.